Okay, good morning. My name is Gary Watts, G A double R Y W A double T S, Acting Detective uh, Superintendent, Organised Crime Group, State Crime Operations Command. I have a prepared um, release, uh, which I will speak to you first initially, and then I am open for questions after that. Thanks for coming today. We appreciate the high level of media interest in this arrest, but I am sure you understand the matter is currently before the courts, and I will be somewhat limited in what I can release this morning. Last night, police from Task Force Last night, police from Task Force Resolve removed a priority suspect from the streets. The person of interest was part of an operation being conducted by Task, Ro Task Force Resolve detectives. Police attempted to speak to him on Main Street at Woolloongabba in relation to an armed robbery. At this point, police had drawn their service firearms. The offender was armed and was classified as a serious high-risk offender. The man resisted arrest and fled the scene in a stolen four-wheel drive that contained a woman and a child. Police pursued the offender, where he is alleged to have struck a number of vehicles, including police vehicles and member of the public, public's vehicles, which resulted in the end of the pursuit on the corner of St Paul's Terrace and Kennegar Street, Fortitude Valley. No one was injured as a result of the pursuit. The man was held in custody overnight, where he was charged with serious criminal offences, which he should have and will appear in court today. Any pursuit is subject to an overview by the Ethical Standards Command. In this situation, the police officers determined that the serious matter under investigation was uh, included in a Category 4 pursuit by the uh, police service. The police officers took that into consideration and continued with the pursuit, which, as I've said, resulted in the arrest of a high-risk offender. The officers adhere to the guidelines as outlined in the police service policy. They assess the risk of the dangerous armed offender and the conditions. I can't go into details of the particular incidents the 23-year-old has been charged with. Those details will be available in court today. This arrest is significant. It's a significant achievement for the newly formed Task Force Resolve. We promised that we would dent serious and violent crimes on the Gold Coast and not 10 days into the task force, we have achieved that. We've taken a serious armed and dangerous offender off the streets and we'll continue to locate and prosecute people responsible for those crimes. Thank you. That's correct, look, the, uh, the time of the pursuit um, was on the mind of the officers engaged in the pursuit. Can I just say at the outset, there are some speeds um, being mentioned by sections of the media that are not true. Without going into details, I can assure you that the speeds did not reach some of those speeds as indicated. But uh, those situations and the timing of the pursuit were taken into consideration by the officers involved. They made that determination, took, the, took into account the policy that the service has in relation to pursuits and continued with the pursuit. Not at this stage, no. That matter is still under investigation. Well, they're in the media. Well, the 120 might be the one you're I have seen that uh, that speed, and look, I can assure you that speeds of that uh, of that level were not attained during the pursuit. How many cars were involved in the pursuit? Police I believe uh, four police vehicles have been damaged, and a number of uh, members of the public's vehicles have been damaged as well. Obviously we are talking about a high risk offender here and as I said the officers had their service, service firearms drawn. A service firearm was discharged during the course of this arrest, however I cannot go into details of that. However I can say that the matter is under investigation by the Ethical Standards Command or overview by the Ethical Standards Command. Well, I hope it says to them that uh, Task Force Resolve is serious in its business. We will be looking at you and hopefully, well, we will be getting you and prosecuting you. There's mention that there could be some more charges for this particular man. Could they relate to other um, robberies? Is that what in regards to him? He didn't make an application for bail because of possible pending charges? 
there are there are other matters under investigation at the moment. We're working with South Eastern Region Detectives and Metropolitan North Region Detectives. How long was um, Hayes under surveillance for? Oh no, that, that's an operational uh, um, question. I won't be going too much into the specifics of that. Do you believe that this is linked to a gang crime, or is this an individual case of just robberies on the coast, or are these all related? The initial indications are that uh, this is not a gang-related crime. Task Force Resolve is concentrating on uh, a series of seven historic armed robberies, uh, also the Akira Sports Club armed robbery which occurred earlier last week and also the armed robbery that's the subject of the press conference here today. Um, we will be looking at that, as I said at the outset, in relation to uh, Task Force Resolve. We'll be looking at any links we can um, form between the historic armed robberies under investigation. We believe we have formed some links. Um, but that is a matter of the in under investigation by the task force. Are there organised armed robberies on the increase then? Or, you know? um, I'm not saying that in relation to organised armed robberies. I, I don't think I've said anything in relation to organised armed robberies. Uh, we'll be looking at armed robberies that have been committed on the Gold Coast, serious and violent crime that occurs on the Gold Coast as part of our duties as task force resolve. Are sophisticated organised armed robberies on the increase or not? I don't believe so, no. Uh, that no one was injured as a result of the pursuit. Um, the pursuit uh, lasted some 13 minutes, is my understanding, and uh, was uh, just over approximately uh, five kilometres. Obviously, very stressful. Uh, I would suggest so, yes. Is he likely to be charged? Um, we're still conducting inquiries in relation to uh, any involvement the, uh, the female person may have had in relation to matters under investigation. You said that I am not aware of the statistics for that at the moment. I'm certainly, uh, we can probably get them and make them available, but not at the moment. So this particular person, how many robberies are they linked to? The 23 year old male has been arrested and charged with one armed robbery at the moment, and we are con currently conducting further investigations in relation to other matters. And then you think it's not a gang thing if you think it might be a number of other people involved, but not related to him? We're still, the matters that uh, we are investigating are still under investigation. Do you know when the investigation by Dr. Sanders managed will possibly expire again? Will there be focus? No, I don't, no. How long typically? I have no idea. It's, it's a matter for the Ethical Standards Command. Was the driver taken to hospital last night? It's my understanding the driver was taken to the hosp hospital for a short time but was uh, then conveyed to the uh, Brisbane Watch House where he was formally charged. When, when is Eva landed? No, the, the male person was arrested uh, at the at Fortitude Valley. He resisted violently and was restrained and handcuffed. Uh, you said the speed was below 120 kilometres an hour. Is that police speed or just the alleged offender's speed? It's my understanding it's both the alleged offenders and the police speeds were well under 120, as reported, 120 kilometres per hour. How old was the child in the car? The child was three years of age. I'm not going to comment on the relationship between the child and the offender. Is the child wearing seatbelts? I don't know that. Is it a boy or a girl? A female child. Was there potential then um, when police drew their guns for a shootout in the city? The arrest of a high risk uh, offender obviously has potential uh, for injury to, uh, to persons. Uh, both police and members of the public and also the person involved. Uh, the police took a, um, a decision in relation to that um, and the arrest, um, well, the person was subsequently arrested in Fortitude Valley after a short pursuit. What was the arm? A replica handgun was located on the male person when he was arrested. Those matters are still under investigation. I just had a couple of other questions, if that's okay. What's your response to calls for a police beat at Pacific Park? 
I'll be making no comment in relation to policing on the Gold Coast, other than uh, relating to Task Force Resolve. Is um, the Task Force Resolve uh, staff well enough to be looking to pull in more detectives? No, there are 18 investigators on the Task Force. It's adequately resourced, and as I said before, I think we've, uh, we've had a great achievement in the arrest of uh, the 23-year-old person with an, uh, an armed robbery as such, and we will continue to make uh, such achievements. Will it fly around the state, depending on what crimes are occurring? No, at this stage, Task Force Resolve is concentrating on uh, armed robberies and serious violent crimes committed within the southeastern region. So it's southeast, not just Gold Coast? No, the no, Gold Coast District, Coomera District and Logan District. How confident are you that we'll be back here making another 10-day decision about another arrest? Um, pretty hard to say, but I am confident that the task force will make arrests for armed robberies. I can't give you a 10 days limit, but uh, I hope to be here before 10 days. Any other questions at all? Okay, thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Um, they are uh, proud of their achievement, uh, solving the armed robbery within 10 days, as I've said. Um, however, I certainly don't want to, uh, uh, what's the word? Well, yeah, the, the, obviously the, uh, the investigators realise that uh, it's going to be a hard, long slog to, to solve these crimes. Um, we've got some good, solid investigators in relation to that on the task force, and they'll be working hard to, uh, to achieve that aim. The Commissioner's made his comments in relation to the establishment of task, for, of task Force Resolve. I won't be making any comments in relation to the establishment. Can you tell us about the uh, armed robbery that he did on the Gold Coast last week? Ah, uh, no, that's currently before the courts. Was he being investigated prior to June 10th, last Friday, by the task force? No. Can you tell me about the replica gun? What sort of replica it was? A replica handgun. I, I haven't seen it, sorry, I can't comment on, on it, other than to say it was, it was heavy and it was um, um, very, very uh, real looking. So when it's a replica, it's not, it doesn't fire at all? No, that's correct, yes, it's a, it's a replica firearm, incapable of firing. Was he inside the Pineapple Hotel having lunch or anything before this, or had he just arrived at the car park? That's uh, an operational uh, question there, I can't probably go into that any further. <laughs> Stolen firearms are part of the uh, firearms trafficking unit within organised crime. It's part of their investigative uh, processes that we look into. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.